Now one thing that's very important about Docker and the way the Docker images work are layers, file system layers. Uh, as you get a lot of microservices out there, uh, you want to be very uh, aware of how the layers are working together and interacting together. A very nice feature of Spring that was introduced, I think it was in Spring Boot 2.3, if memory serves me correctly, is being able to do a layered approach. So we're going to break that out, break out our, our application into layers so we'll have a layer for all those common dependencies and the stuff that doesn't change very much, and then another layer for our application, the stuff that does change. The stuff that doesn't change is going to be a, a big amount of data. Stuff that's changing in our application is going to be much smaller. So when we're doing deployments, the stuff that doesn't change doesn't get uh, deployed again and again and again. Here, we are going to be much more efficient. So I'm going to show you how to use Spring Boot layers, how to configure our Docker build file to go ahead and utilize these layers. So this is a, a really important stuff, especially as, it, as we start getting into uh, more production environments environments where we have applications that are being deployed and evolved and deployed again so we're doing releases of those applications this is going to make your life a lot easier at least your DevOps guys a lot easier as uh, you produce uh, move over to containerized environments